it's still sort of, I'm still, I feel shocked still at the moment because we still haven't been able to move on from when it happened. And this feels like it's a door open now, but if it's a major leap forward in obviously them willing to reinvestigate that they've seen something there. And with the support from Louise Elman, I, we wouldn't be where we are today without Louise Elman and her support. After tireless campaigning from both Louise Elman and Stephen's family, they have now had confirmation from a Danish prosecutor and the Foreign Office that the case is to be reopened, with investigators now assigned to the investigation. But Liverpool Riverside MP says that despite the good news, this is just the first step on the road to achieve justice. Well, this is the, the beginning of opening the door and it means that an investigation will take place and it's now it's up to the people conducting the investigation to decide just how they're going to proceed. And I hope that they're going to be looking at the whole of this case to look at what happened to Stephen O'Malley on that boat, why his calls for help were ignored. Um, he called for help two minutes after getting into that dive, yet it was over nine minutes before any effort was made to rescue him. Then there were, there were problems, he was tangled up in the equipment. It's unclear whether the crew on that ship ever knew that there was a real emergency going on. There's the Danish inquest that said that he died probably from a pre-existing heart condition that was called fanciful in the extreme by the Liverpool UK coroner. So there are a lot of major questions to answer and I hope that this is going to be a full investigation, but it now is in the hands of the Danish police. With Danish authorities now agreeing to a new police investigation, it still doesn't make up for the distressing time Nicola and the family faced over the years and the sheer inconsistency of the post-mortems carried out into Stephen's death. It's heartbreaking because it's, it was conflicting and one was sort of, the, the Danish one meant nothing. But obviously when someone does find it, you're searching for justice, you need answers when you lose someone. It can't change the outcome, but you need the answers as to what's happened and for justice to, for him to get justice for himself. You can't move forward. I still feel in exactly the same position as when we found out what has happened to Stephen. You're not able to move forward because that's always there and we've constantly fought. We've not been able to put actually and just deal with grieving for Stephen because you're still dealing with the trauma and the suffering and what he's gone through. In spite of the prospect of a new inquiry and reinvestigation, there still remains a number of questions that need to be answered. However, the recent news does reaffirm that it is the beginning of achieving the justice the family so greatly deserves. Nathan Griffiths, Beatty for Liverpool.